Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, it's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. You know, don't you? You know. Right. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to sit with that on my face all day, did you? Sweating like a pig. How people rob banks with them on, I don't know. Right. Robert Smith, a.k.a. the big dog at the Boxing Board of Control, has come out and said the following. Robert Smith of the board has stressed that Dillian White is suspended following Povetkin Kale for 48 days. Not the widely reported 28. Once those 48 days are complete, October the 9th, he will undergo medicals before, he, before his licence can be reinstated and rematch can be confirmed. That to me is a backtrack. And this is how I look at it. Let, let's just break that down. Nobody mentioned anything about medicals, did they, last week? So, so far so good. You following me? You following the story? Nobody mentioned 48 days either. They said 28. And who, in the British Boxing Board of Control, whole history has ever had a 48 day ban? It's 28 or 45. So now they're trying to pass it out as a clerical error. No, 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 no. I'll tell you why they're trying to do it. They're trying to say that Eddie earn has been caught in favours, aren't they? And Dillian White's getting getting free gratis like the rest of them because he's pay-per-view. Because he needs to get in camp early. Well, he's in Portugal anyway. He's in Portugal, so who's going to be watching him anyway? Is somebody going to go out there and make sure he doesn't spar? What the heck? They're not going to do anything like that, are they? They're weak. These people are weak. All they're bothered about is free gratis. So Dylan White had a 28-day ban. Carl Greaves, Frank Warren, other YouTubers, me included, all made a big fuss out there. And now all of a sudden he's got a 48-day ban. I don't get that. I don't get that. It was 28 day, now it's 48. Clerical error. Fake news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, there's too much of this going on, isn't it? But this is how I look at it, Robert Smith. Once you tell a lie, you gotta tell another to keep it going. So, all this border control propaganda and this and that, it's all a load of rubbish. It's all a load of rubbish. These people, like I've been telling you for ages, have had their noses in the trough for years. We're talking about people here that couldn't even organise proper medical care when Michael Watson fought Eubank. They ended up selling building in London, didn't they? So now in Cardiff, aren't they? In a, in, in a semi-detached house or something. Is it already detached house, whatever? Gone from London to Cardiff. But they're supposed to be centre at country, in it? London off at boxing. I don't know. It's, or centre at city, wasn't it? City of London. They're now in Cardiff. Look, these people couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. Well, they could actually, but they wouldn't be paying for it, would they? So, that's how I look at it. So, useless, incompetent. And corruption at its highest level in boxing. That's the British Boxing Board of Control. So come and take me on. Come and take me on because you need to keep an eye out for me because I'm going to have people on this channel in the next few months who want to tell me some fantastic stories about the Boxing Board of Control. People who've had licenses. Oh, yeah. I'm coming after you. So get ready. So it's no good sending emails to Dennis Hobson complaining about things that I do. Right, it's no good doing that because I've not got a board license, I can do what I fucking want. All right, Robert Smith, Charlie Giles, and all the rest of you shower a shit. All right, free gratis. If you see me at shows from now on, avoid me because I will be pulling you up on your incompetence and all the rest of it because all this free gratis stuff has got to go. The sport's got to be run on an even keel it's got to be fair for all these kids that are fighting people are getting punched in the heads and you lot are sitting back there drinking gin and tonics with a slice of green lemon 
Hmm. You couldn't make it up, could you? Sat there with your poached eggs and salmon on a Sunday morning after the shows. Yeah, I've watched you. I've watched you for six years. I know what goes on. But there's people that have had licenses years. Well, they all want to come and tell the tale. And I'm just going to let them. So get ready, because it's all going to come out in end what you lot are. Corrupt and incompetent. Alright? Every time I look at Michael Watson, I think of you lot. That's what I think, of you lot. Alright? No amount of money can put him right, can it? Kid who fought his heart out, you couldn't even look after him. You should be embarrassed. So, you got a problem, Robert Smith? Pick up the phone, give me a ring. You're more than welcome to give me your side of events. Alright? Peace out. Don't have nightmares, but like I've just said to you, it'll all come out in the wash, just like the Jeffrey Epstein uh, passengers on his plane. That'll all come out in wash. So it's squeaky bum time for you boys, isn't it?